that's like looking at something in Lancashire. Nigel the Explorer. <laughs> New guy. Hello to you all and welcome back to another video. My name is Nigel and the channel is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. And today I'm off exploring once again in the Niagara region and I've ended up in this place called Jordan. And I'm being joined today by a friend of mine who after watching my Ipper Wash video said he'd like to come out with me on one of my adventures. So I dragged him along on this one because he's going to take some photographs and hopefully do a painting for me. This is Dean, he's going to join us today on uh, today's little exploration. I don't know if I'm going to make it, buddy. <laughs> We haven't even started and he's already tied out and he's the one who's meant to be fitter than me. All right, this should be a fun exploration. Like I said, this is not exactly where we're going, but it is near here. This is Jordan and we're going to go about five minutes away from here. Too hot, like... This is a secret passage, but it's a secret. We're not going to tell you exactly where it is. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm going to get wet feet, am I? <laughs> Look at this. Oh, it's part of the old bridge. Oh, I don't want to slip and fall and break my freaking neck. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's a guy. There's abseilers down here. There's what? Abseilers. Climbers. Climbers. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> hang on. We just got here. <laughs> Brought the novice with me. Actually, I've done this mistake before. Dean just goes to me. Um... I forgot my memory card. <laughs> he just pulled his camera out, he's got no memory card. And mine's in my vehicle, my spare one. Anyway, we're just here, we're at the arch of this old railway thing, which I want to get further down and get some nice photographs, but there's a guy uh, climbing here. Uh, not rock climbing, but he's actually climbing right up, so i get an image of him, but this is really, really nice piece of uh, uh, bridge here. We're actually at the old bit, which, which would have been the railway, and uh, if I spin it around, this is the start of the arch. All right, the reason why it's intrigued me so much is because, of course, you know I'm from England. But we have a lot of this stuff around the UK. Old bridges, old archways, and they're just fascinating. It's a lot of history uh, built in a time before any of us were alive or anyone who's alive today was around. So it's, it's something from our past, uh, which is quite magnificent. So I'm really happy to be here and see this really close up. I was quite surprised how close I could get. So I'm going to give you a better look. And also the guy climbing down here. <laughs> New guy. That's if I can make it down here without falling. Up above us, CN Rail workers. Dude, you have me double fisted here. And it's not beer. <laughs> Walk sideways. Hey, sideways like this. That's pretty cool. I'm not the only ones here today. There's glass here too, nails. Watch out, buddy. Yeah. Want to see how far I get till I fall in the bog? It's so dirty down there. Yeah, look at this, eh? The wire and stuff over time, like that's... Yeah. You'd think it would be dirtier. Ooh. Hey, there's cable. Yeah, everything down No, I mean like oh. cable... And a cobweb. Cable TV. See? I hate cobwebs. Anyway, we're at the bottom of the, uh... Hey, can I hook my GoPro up to the Gable TV? <laughs> we're at the bottom, underneath the, uh, the current railway bridge, which is a CN line. As you just saw, the GO train went over. 
and that's running to Toronto. If you want to know exactly where we are, we're in Jordan or just outside of Jordan. Um, Toronto is a, about 100 kilometers that way and Buffalo, US is about 60 kilometers that way. And normally Jordan's well known for its wineries, its little shops and its little harbor, its little town there and things like that and Balls Falls of course. But this is off the beaten path and this is something I love doing. Uh, we kind of found it online, did some investigation and now we're here and we're checking out, not this railway bridge, but this old one here. So let's go and check it out a bit more. Yeah. Right, I just spoke to the people uh, here and uh, not rock climbing, it's dry tooling. It's called dry tooling. And apparently people have been coming here for quite a long time over the years, not in big groups, but uh, there's some stuff apparently embedded in the arch there, which has probably been anchored there many, many years ago. So anyway, I'll leave them to it. They're doing their stuff and I'm going to do mine. I want to get a nice shot of these pillars here. Now, the annoying thing is I wrote all my notes on my phone. And now that we're down here, I just realized my phone is still in my vehicle. So hopefully uh, no one will steal anything. And I'll try and remember top of my head some of my notes I wrote down. If I disappear very quickly, I've fallen into a swamp and may never be seen again. Uh, oh, that's squelchy. <coughs> All right, I'm trying to get a better view of this. Um, as you can see, they're all here. Look at that. That is good. I like that. The problem here, as someone from the UK, I always tend to find the problem with North America in general, not just Canada, but North America itself, you have a horrible habit of tearing down your history and not preserving anything. It's like, there's an old saying based in the UK, I think some comedian may come out with it. You, you tear your history down and you turn it into a parking lot, basically. And not much is preserved. But stuff like this is fantastic. I love this. Unfortunately, it's a shame that the, uh, the bridge that's in use right now is actually under construction, so it spoils the shot a little bit. All right, for some reason, I thought there was eight pillars, but I just counted seven. So the eighth one would be the arch where we just were. Now you can see the, the gaps um, in each pillar where the girders would have been placed and spanned right across here. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, okay, I believe, I don't have my notes with me, but I want to say it's 357 meters and in all money, 1157 feet or something like that. That's top of my head. I'll correct myself when I get back and, and if I am wrong, I'll kind of text it right here. But 357 meters, I believe, was the span of this bridge. Uh, built for the Canadian Railway in 1867. And the stone they used is a local stone. Um, it was uh, quarried out of a quarry near here in a place called Beamsville, which is not too far away. It's a neighboring town. Um, town? A village? I call it a town. Jordan, for some reason, it's called a community. I like to call it a village. But on the internet, it says uh, the community, but I think it's a village. Uh, but a lot of history around here. This, I'm really enjoying this. So I want to get up there eventually and get some pictures looking down. But so for right now, I'm going to have a walk around and find a spot to take a good picture. Oh, you're all right. You got boots on. I just got hiking shoes. Hey, what's the Dora song, Nigel? Hey, what's the what's the Dora song? Nigel the Explorer. Oh yeah, I'm dear Dora the Explorer. I think you're right. There's a lot of water here, so more I think than we're that, dude. Oh shit! You <laughs> must put boards down, though. It's a shame there uh, oh. that you wore your running shoes. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh yeah, I'm, I'm not going any oh. oh, I so badly want to cross that. that. These boards all over there as well. Yeah, you just wait till a snapping turtle gets you, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, that was my inside voice. Damn. Really I'm really place. enjoying this. Good explore. Oh, somebody just bubbled. Yeah, that's methane. Methane. Somebody just bubbled down here and it wasn't me. It's probably all swampy on this part. So we've got, got swamp, swamp here. here. There's swamp down here, but someone has crossed over because there's boards. But uh I just got hiking shoes on. There's a pit down here. Oh my feet are getting wet. It's sinking, that board is sinking. <laughs> my board just sunk. <laughs> Didn't you come from an island? <laughs> yeah, I used to, to sink, sink it. it. Oh, oh my god, god look. I'm sinking, sinking again. again. 
maybe at some point we're gonna try and get up a bit higher and look down and get the ultimate shot we're looking for. Uh, Dean's here for one reason. He's taking photographs and he's trying to get a, a good image and he wants to paint. Uh, paint uh, Dean does a lot of painting and uh, in a future video we'll do, we'll bring the painting, we'll show you the painting on the vlog when it's complete. But he's, took, he's taken some photographs already and he's gonna go home and work on them. Um, but we need to try and get to a higher vantage point, legally. I just came out to laugh at you. <laughs> uh, yeah, he just come out here to make fun of me, not paint, he says. Step on the grass, step on the grass, and you got some. Oh. Actually, I'm fatter than you, so I might have. Oh, my feet are so fucking cold. <laughs> Dude, it's only the beginning of the fall. Have we even hit the fall by the calendar yet? You know what's really cool about this? Well, are the rust stains on that sucker. Yeah. Should mention we might come down in the kayaks. Hey? Oh, yeah. The other side. We should do that. I don't know why Dean didn't tell me this earlier. But he has two kayaks. We could just board the kayaks and done this straight away. Now what we need to find out is whether this is historic and listed as historic. And it's going to be for here forever until it eventually just collapses. Because, uh... It's a shame because you, you can't see this side of it from the QEW. I never knew this was here until I saw the photograph of it. Uh, the QEW, by the way, is just down there. So if you're driving uh, past, if you're coming from the Hamilton area heading towards Niagara Falls, as soon as you go past Victoria Avenue, uh, you'll go past uh, the Tim Hortons on your left. And you'll just as you start seeing the, uh, the shipwreck on the left, look to the right, you'll see an open pile of water and you'll recognize, you'll see this bridge in the far distance. Well, we're on the other side of that bridge and this is where the pillars are. Hidden out of the way. Right, we're gonna try and make our way to the end of there, I think. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk to the end of that and look down. I'm gonna try and get over there. Look. That is a nice shot. That is a nice view. You can just imagine many, many years ago, the trains coming over here, heading off that way towards Hamilton. Or they'll be going that way towards uh, Fort Erie, Buffalo, Niagara Falls, I would imagine. So this is neat. We're actually quite high up here. We're actually at the very end. I'll put the camera over. Uh, when we set off on this adventure, the skies were quite clear and blue, uh, but sadly the clouds came over and it made photography quite hard due to the uh, white background. So what I've done is just did some slow motion video, put it together and put some music over it uh, to give you a nice artistic look at the remains of the bridge and the pillars and also the uh, current railway bridge as well.
there we have it a nice freight train coming over at the same time we're here something old something i won't say new but newer than what we're standing on still keeping the freight going throughout canada all right there you have it our exploration of the old railway bridge here in uh, Jordan, in Ontario, in the Niagara region. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'm gonna keep looking around for other places to go investigate. As, uh, as you know, I've only been in Niagara region a few years, so it's nice to get out, check out new places, try and get off the beaten path as well, try and get away from the tourist areas, and uh, find other places of interest. This is a beautiful trail we came across. It's not a legit trail, but it, it was nice to come down here see what we saw we thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, Dean here has got some great photographs and hopefully he'll get a painting made up in the weeks ahead and uh, we'll showcase it in one of the future videos uh, but for now we're gonna try and make our way back to where we came from